When I was 19, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But even at that age, I realized you can never get time back. So I always thought the job you get, make sure it's something you really want to do. So I decided to give canoe guiding a try. The Zambezi is the fourth biggest river in Africa. And this is just an amazing environment to be in. The people who are involved with wildlife and conservation are very generous. And that was what drew me to it. The other guiding is the professional guiding, so it means you're allowed to walk on foot with your guests. Zimbabwe is considered the hardest place to get your guide's license in Africa, and I don't think any woman has ever got those two licenses. It is a dangerous job. As a guide, you never want to put yourself or your guests ever in a position where there is a problem. I was taught never guide as if you've got a rifle, always guide as if you don't, because that puts things in perspective. But I have had some moments where are quite tense and you had to deal with them. I was working in a camp and we had one of the young bedroom hands. His name was Timothy. He was only 19 and he was attacked by a lion in the middle of the day and they ate him. The rule is that once animals make that connection, then they become a problem animal. And unfortunately, they have to be shot, and that's what happened in that situation. That's the thing about this job, I suppose, is you have to make decisions sometimes that aren't the best that you want to choose, but at the end of the day, it's the right thing to do that. It's great being married to a guide because we understand each other. We understand the tired days, we understand the exhausting situations. And my husband, Nick, has always respected me as a guide. With the line incident, when he came back, he walked up to me, shook my hand and said, I knew you'd do a good job and walked off. That night he came and gave me a hug and said, I hope you're okay. But that's the respect that it's amazing to have as a husband and in this, in this business. We have this great saying in our family is, protect the land and defend the defenseless. You've got to stand up for the things without a voice. And unfortunately nowadays there's this animals. To save an elephant a day, I mean, how wonderful is that? Elephants are the most amazing creatures. They're so intelligent and they need somebody on their side. It's our privilege to be able to do that. It's our privilege to be in this environment. If we can't here to support, if we can't have the long-standing longevity of it, then that's not right. If a young girl did ask me if this was a good life, I would say it's a fantastic life. They've spoken to me about it and I've always said to them, if you're going to do it, do it properly because people are going to look at you and assess you more than anyone else. So if you're willing to do that, I'll say 100% because we need people with passion in this business.